Um, I want to be uh, available for my pups in case it gets too bad. <clears throat> so, with that being said, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to start a little earlier tonight. But also, um, my friend Rachel, who was the one who uh, asked me to start uh, do the Nuzlocke randomizer to begin with, um, asked if I could stream tonight, um, and I told her, "Yeah, I can. Uh, I can stream today." Uh, and. And they suggested I, uh, I retry the Nuzlocke randomizer, because... Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to try the randomizer again, see how well I can do this time around. Um, and then go from there. So, once Rachel... Actually, I guess I could, uh... Oh, I forgot the keys. Okay, so that's B. Okay. And what was it again to fast forward? Shift and F, that's right. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, for right now, I will go ahead and get through all this. Ooh, more stuff. Um, good girl. And I think last time I said I would change my name. Yes, th that's right. I what I what I said I would do is uh, after every preceding death, I would add a number. Yeah, to signify that this is another run. <clears throat> so, uh, the character for today is going to be Shadow One. Once Rachel shows up, uh, I will start. Actually, let me get out of the car so at least some of the music can be going through. There we go. Today. Oh, there's Rachel. Okay. So because I've already gone through this, I'm just going to skip through most of this. Um, time is it? 3.09. 1, 2, 3.09. 3.10. It just hit 3.10. Hey there, Rachel. Okay, let's get through this. Get the potion. I do find it kind of funny how you can just walk into random people's houses in, in Pokemon and everything is fine with that. Alright, oh, right. I need to check um, my trainer ID. 15286. So. That is number two. Yeah, because 
first time around it was the first option so yeah th okay so the trainer id does uh, switch around every so often uh, switches every time you start a new game so that's good okay so we shall choose the second pokemon in the bag All right, let's see what our choices are. Houndour. Marshtomp. And Tangela. So I'm going to be starting off with a Tangela. No. Oh, no, I am getting Houndour. Sorry, I forgot that I had a six. Oh, cool. I do like Houndour. Houndour, Houndour. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I... I've always called it Houndour. Oh no, when I was growing up I called it Houndour, but now I call it Houndour. So if I'm choosing this one, this would be Trico. Okay. Oh, a Houndour with explosion. Oh, it's gotta be. Okay, so if I, so if, if I'm choosing Houndour then that means Brendan is going to get Marsh Tomp, which is not a good combination for me. Also, I just realized each Pokemon here is related to what the original Pokemon are. Grass type, fire type, water type. It's even Marsh Tomp for the third one. So that that's some interesting... Uh, That's some weird uh, randomizing to... Then again, I guess... I guess there are a good amount of all three of these, so it's not all that surprising. But last time, it was two bugs and a dragon, so... Okay, so I'm going with Houndour. All right, Houndour. Also, I did change it. Oh my god. Of course, it's a frickin' Swampert. I don't think Swampert will have any moves. Oh, and of course I have Leer, or Ember and Leer. Which Ember is special in this game. So Leer does nothing. Uh-oh. I don't think Swampert... Ha I might be dead on the first go. Uh, Swampert... Emerald... Pokedex RS... Tackle, Growl, Mud Slap, Water Gun. Uh oh. That ain't good. Okay. Alright, if you're just gonna use tackle, I'm fine with that. And I think I'm dead. Oh. I think I can actually take this Swampert out as long as it's just... No, nope. If it uses another water gun. I should survive this. Yep. Do I kill? Okay, I, I did survive. Holy crap. How did I not even level up from that? Don't you normally level up to level 6 after the first encounter? Sworn. Okay, well, Houndour survived, so... Also, Rachel, would you like the honors of naming uh, our Houndour, or would you want to leave that up to me? For every run, I'm going to let you have the honors of uh, choosing to name it, just because, again, this was your suggestion to play this game. 
But if you want me to name it, I'm certainly not against naming it. Uh, need to think of a name. Oh yeah, something I was going to say earlier before I got to the Pokemon. Um, I did make it so evolutions are not randomized. Uh, I go ahead? Okay. Uh... Will this fit? Oh, sorry, I forgot how to spell it. I think it's like this. Nope. Had it backwards. Uh, deals it. Oh, that's a B. Uh, I probably should have left it open. E bub. Okay. Whoops, that is the wrong. I'm gonna name uh, our starter Deals a Pup. Just like Beelzebub, uh, which is another name for Satan, but it has pup in, in the name. <clears throat> okay, just skip forward. Um, is my Pokemon healed? Yes, okay. Yeah, I, I made evolutions not random because, again, it, it, it would be kind of weird if, like, I had Houndour and then it evolved and it became a Matang. And then it was able to do Bite and Flamethrower or something like that. So, to make it more consistent, I made the, uh... Yeah, to make it more consistent, I, uh... I decided to make the evolutions not random, so I will be getting a Hound Doom in the future. Uh, Hound Dower Emerald. I just need Cerebi, thank you. So Leer Ember learn Howl at seven, which sucks. So the so really the only move it learns that can use Leer and Howl is Bite at level 25. And when does it evolve? Level 24, so. Oh yeah, uh, the Tenacious D song is, is also named Beelzebub, or Beelzebub, Beelzebub, isn't it? <clears throat> okay. But yeah, time to go on. That also means that um, Brendan will also have a uh, a Swampert when uh, he trains it up enough, so. Oh, I could have sworn there, there was an enemy in here. Hoot hoot, okay, cool. Right, that's that's why it's feeling so slow. Got to go into options. Fast set frame sixteen. Oh wait. Yeah, it might as well have it stereo. I don't know why it's mono to begin with. Okay, yeah, that should be good. I'm going to continue walking around here and see what the available Pokemon around here are. Lapras. Okay. 
It would be pretty awesome if I could get a Lapras. I don't think it should have any water type moves. Growl doesn't do anything because fire is special. It does no sing, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, thank you, Beals of Pup. Yeah, as long as the Lapras doesn't have, uh... Yeah, it doesn't have a water type move, should be good, uh... Good to fight, so... Tyrogue. Okay. If it has a fighting type move, it's gonna hurt. Or I can just take it out in one hit, that's, that's good too. I'm just going to train up uh, Beals up a little first. And just see what the available Pokemon around here are. Teddy Ursa, okay. Another, uh, okay. Any critical hits out the wazoo. Tyrogue, okay. And then I got Howl, which actually does Howl. No, Howl only boosts uh, attack, not special attack. Yeah, boosts attack, which unfortunately does not help Houndour currently. So let's see here Lapras, Teddy Ursa, Tyrogue, Hoot Hoot. I think that's all I've encountered so far. And potentially Swampert. Oh no, Poochiana was... Uh... Oh wait, actually, now that I think about it, I think I just remembered... Um... Mining? Okay. Yeah, I just remembered that... Um... The settings that I have is that every area is random and, and each random Pokemon isn't tied to it. So like, the first Pokemon is Poochiana, but in, in the game that I'm playing that doesn't mean that every Poochiana will be a Swampert. It just means that that Poochiana was a Swampert. So. Oh, you got a Beals of Bup. I'm gonna go heal, though. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, really doesn't learn anything until level 13, but I don't necessarily want to be too overleveled. Why people do fire fireworks? Oh, Aaron. Yeah, I don't know why people do fireworks when it's not nighttime. It's not like you can really see them. Yeah, the only problem is just that. Uh, Brendan's going to have um, um, Marsh Tomp to start off. Like, I already know that uh, that's what Brendan's going to have, so. As it stands currently, I cannot do much. Um, against. Uh, Marsh top because I only have Ember. 
and the two status moves that I have are not are not really all that good. No, he didn't. Did I say Swampert? I meant Marsh Tom. Sorry. He'll have a Marsh Tom. My bad. Hey, give me a second. Go ahead up to the. Uh... No, I fought the uh, Puccino that was attacking Professor Birch. I haven't fought Brendan yet. Also, I want to check something real quick. Okay, no nothing is uh, going slow or anything. So. one other Pokemon that's around here. Smeargle. I hope I don't get Smeargle. I also just realized with only having Ember, that's going to be very difficult in trying to catch some Pokemon, so... Hopefully he doesn't have... I'm fairly certain he'll have Water Gun to start, but... Yeah, level 5 though, so I should be fine. Okay. He's also going to have Mud Slap. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't good. I think the only way I can win is if I can... Nope, I'm dead. Because all I can do right now is I is I can heal up again and then I can although I am faster. But I've got to hit these. And he just keeps lowering my Nope, I'm dead. about starting off a Nuzlocke, especially a randomizer, is just that if you start off with very bad luck, you're not going to get anywhere. Yes, that was very short-lived. Uh, I tried with Pokey. I got to the first gym with Pokey. Pokey, I think, was my strongest Pokemon. Beelzebub, when I knew that I, I was going to be against Marsh Tomp with Brendan, I knew I was kind of already screwed. 
<sighs> okay. Technically speaking, I threw everyone's lives away in the last game because I died. Okay, so Rachel, the question goes to you. Do you want me to continue as is or do you want me to restart? Because I don't mind doing either one. It's just if I have to restart, I have to go in and uh, make a new one. So That being said, going against uh, Brendan again with just feels a pup will probably be banging my head against the wall until I succeed, which is in restart reshuffle. Okay. So, so this is the uh, randomizer screen. And of course, yeah, load a ROM to start. Make sure you make a backup first, all that stuff. So then open ROM, downloads, Pokemon Emerald. You go to the uh, Emerald version that you're using. Here it says that the base ROM does not match the target ROM. But for uh, this ROM specifically, it'll still work. So go all the way up to 000, which is random. And you can you can actually choose whatever Pokemon you want. So if you wanted the Johto Pokemon, you can do that. You, or the Johto starters, you can do that. If you wanted all three legendaries, you can do that right off the bat. But um, to start off to uh, start off a randomizer, it's it's very good to do this. Okay, so and also uh, of course with the starter Pokemon, you can. You can actually choose to have it have a uh, a starting uh, item in case you want to give yourself like a, a uh, an item that would be really nice to have. Um, like you could start off with a master ball, and then you just have a master ball, but. I'm not going that. You can do basic Pokemon only and prevent legendaries, which, yeah. Uh, and then Pokemon modification options. Randomize Pokemon types, randomize Pokemon abilities, randomize wild held, randomize Pokemon moves, all this stuff. And then we go to wild Pokemon. You can do unchanged, global one-to-one -one substitutions, area unique one-to-one -one substitutions, which actually, now that I think about it, I think that's what I wanted to begin with. Um, yeah, because area unique one-to-one -one substitu substitutions means that um, Bidu not Bidoofs, um, Zigzagoons and Poochianas that are in like the first couple areas will be replaced with a different Pokemon. But that's, no, I, I want to go completely random. Because then... Um, because it, it, it was seeming like ev uh, every t uh, area did still have, like, set Pokemon. So it, was, it, w it wasn't a one-to-one... -one, uh, yeah, it wasn't a one-to-one -one substitution uh, where Zigzagoons became this. But there were set Pokemon in each area. Like in the first area, there was Spearows, there was uh, Cyndaquils, there was Combuskins, and they, they were pretty consistent. So, uh, yeah, I want to go with completely random. Uh, trainer Pokemon completely random. You can randomize unique Pokemon, so like uh, any legendaries or any Pokemon that specifically spawns in a certain area, like, uh, like an Emerald uh, Kecleon or Rayquaza or the... Le or any of the legendaries, you can have those randomized, and then you can also set it to each unique Pokemon is set to be a legendary. So, sure, all Pokemon up here. I don't necessarily know what that means. It, I think it means that if you have it completely random, then ensuring all Pokemon appear means that in every area, 
every single type of Pokemon will appear. I think that's what that means. Keep evolution forms intact, which I think I'm going to keep on this next randomizer because while having the evolutions change would be fun, I did I was thinking about how like if Pineco were to have evolved, it would have um the whatever the evolution would be would have all the moves that Pineco had before. So it it wouldn't be right, I guess, if I were to do that. So So I want to uh, keep that. You can prevent wild legendaries in the wild and randomize trade Pokemon, which I'm going to do. Now, palette options are something I think was recently added to this randomizer, um, where you can either have unchanged uh, palettes, so every Pokemon is the uh, colors that they're supposed to be, type-based colors, which I'm assuming means that, like, Gardevoir would have psychic type based colors. Um, Numal would be fire ground like colored. And then random colors, which then you have a whole bunch of other things uh, to choose from. Uh, trainer Pokemon, completely random, global one to one, unchanged, all that stuff. Randomize the trainer, whatever the trainers have. I want to keep rivals, keep first Pokemon. Uh, and you can prevent trainers from having legendaries, but I'm not going to do that. And then base game options. Make sc scales and stones viable. Um, TMs come in stacks of 90. I don't think I actually set that last time. Um, yeah. So, this is what I want to do uh, for the next raw... Uh, This is what I want to do for my next uh, randomizer. So, Emerald Randomizer. Save in here. File save successfully. And then if we go back into here, we can see that Emerald Randomizer.gba is here. So, the next time that we stream uh, the Emerald Randomizer, or the Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer, uh, it now has all of those new rules, or same rules, and then I think I, cha I changed one or two things, so.